This is This Week in Maine's History. We're here at the Maine Historical Society with Jamie Rice. She's the Director of Collections and Research. And tell us what happened this week in Maine's history. So at This Week in Maine History, we have a letter that was written March 9th, 1820, from William Pitt Preble to William King, who was about to take the role of Maine's first governor about a week after this letter was written. William Pitt Preble is telling William King that he's delighted with the statehood process, but he's very upset with the way that Maine became a state. Maine became into the Union as a free state to balance Missouri coming in as a slave state. A lot of people in Maine were pro-statehood, but didn't want to come in under those circumstances. Was slavery present at all in Maine? Well, Massachusetts outlawed slavery in the, seven, in the late 1780s, so slavery was illegal. Um, there were people who were involved in the slave trade, so the presence of slaves themselves in Maine had, had since um, been eradicated. Let's talk a little more about this letter and specifically what it says. So in, in true 19th century fashion, it's very flowery and it's very high level, but he is definitely very dissatisfied. For the delegation for whose course we feel disgusted is what he actually leaves the word. So he, he's, pretty, he's pretty angry about the process. A lot of long sentences, a lot of large vocabulary, a handwriting can be a little tricky to read, but you know, the 19th century correspondence, they usually start with a nice sentiment that says, thank you for your letter, it was great to see you, and then kind of launch into what he has to say. It's a relatively short letter, and so there's his signature. They tend to write who it's to in the bottom corner, which is very helpful for archivists in the future to know who you're writing to in case you wrote dear friend or dear sir. But another really fun aspect of this is that envelope and letter are all one. So you essentially fold this all down and you can see that he sealed it with the wax seal and it kind of just neatly tucks in and that's how you would mail it. And you can see it made it to General William King in Bath with no address. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. Wow. Yes. So, I mean, today it would be this is like a text message, right? Right, essentially. <laughs> Just a very An long email. text. Long for a text message, but yes, this this one. And this, you know, and they have a relationship. He really lets William King know how he feels. I mean, he's disgusted with the process. He and he's supportive of statehood, but just did not think that this was right for Maine to come in with that kind of a relationship with, with, uh, with Missouri and with slavery. And why is this letter in particular so important in Maine's history? Well, this really uh, puts the context of how people felt about the Missouri Compromise. And it really put slavery in, into the, to the national dialogue in a way that it hadn't been since the founding of our country. It puts Maine into the national narrative, puts us into the context of what's going on in the United States at that time, takes it out of regional history, and really brings it to the national level.